Welcome to BUS 639, Technology and Innovation. So as you know, for the first uh, assignment, we're having you post a video. We gotta get used to technology. So a little bit about me. I go by Dr. Sal. I've been uh, teaching online as an adjunct, full-time, also at different colleges. My work history, I've been in the uh, workforce playing with computers since the late 1980s. Uh, when I went in and I, my boss said, hey, I got a computer, how do you work this thing? And I started training people how to use it. Back in the 80s and early 90s, we actually trained people on computers, how to use a mouse, how to open files. And I remember that was one of the first things that I worked on. Nowadays, as you know, we don't train people how to use basic computers. You come in, they expect you to know it. And back in those days also, when the web came out, uh, if you had a web presence, you actually posted, hey, we have a web uh, site. You can go look at our menu or see what we have. It wasn't interactive. It was just uh, you'd go and find information. Nowadays, in, in businesses, if you're not on the web, it's a drawback. So these are some of the different things on how technology has changed. And uh, as you see today with Amazon and Facebook and uh, Twitter and all these other websites, their companies have to have a, a present. It's no longer an option to say, yes, we're going to go on the web. If you don't have it, it now hurts your business. So, like I said, I've been in the IT field for over 30 years. I've watched it develop. Uh, I've done everything that you can possibly do in the IT field, building networks, databases, computers, training, testing, uh, programming. So I've been doing a whole bunch of different things. So a little about my education. I went to a local college in New Jersey. I have a mass, uh, sorry, my bachelor's in management information systems, is, which is really how computers and business world work. I, uh, I, took, I went at night, so it took me about 15 years to get my undergrad. I then did another five years to get my master's again in management information systems. Again, I really like the business world. And my doctorate is another five years, uh, and that is management and technology. And as we look today, I mean, so if you do the math, that was 25 years of going at night. Uh, it was a lot of work. I am very happy I did it. Um, uh, I love computers. And I love how they interact with the business world. And that's what we're talking about in this class, how, all, how important computers are. Uh, it wasn't that long ago, you know, 20 years ago, you didn't have a chief, finance, or chief information officer sitting on the board. Now we have CIOs, which is a really big thing. They help the board to direct because it's no longer I throw it over to IT, let them figure out. Now we are part of the decision-making process. Uh, a little bit about me personally, as I mentioned, I've been in the computer field for 30 years, 30 plus years, working with large organizations, uh, T-Mobile, Schick. Uh, last company I worked at was Hamburg Sud, which was a shipping company. Uh, a little bit about me. I've been married 35, 34 years, somewhere around there. My wife keeps me on track. I have two adult kids. Uh, that are married. Uh, my one daughter is married. I have two grandkids, which uh, is awesome. My son, uh, he went to college to become a programmer. He works on Wall Street, so he loves that. My daughter is a stay-at-home uh, mom. So two of the things that I enjoy doing in life is uh, skiing and motorcycling. So I'm a huge skier. I ski last year Last couple of years, I probably average over 40 days of skiing. I live within a half hour of a ski resort, and I go a few times a week during the ski season, which is very short here in New Jersey. Uh, it's only about uh, four months, but I try to get out as much as I can. Uh, actually, I was a ski instructor for a whole bunch of time, uh, probably about uh, five years I was a ski instructor. And I'm also a motorcycle. I love motorcycling. Uh, I just completed a cross-country motorcycle trip. Uh, it took me about 15 days, solo trip, uh, Route 66 to California, and then back up to uh, New Jersey. Uh, I also teach motorcycling on the weekends. And both my kids ride until my daughter had kids, but now my son and I ride. We're actually planning a trip later on this year. 
uh, him and I are going to be going on a motorcycle trip uh, to get away. Usually we go about every long weekend, usually him and I go uh, somewhere. So that's what I was saying. You know, those are my passions in life. That's what I like to do. And I do one six months of the year, and I ski six months out of the year, ride and ski. So I have a perfect balance. I love teaching. I teach here, I teach at another college as a part-time. So teaching is what I enjoy. Like I said, I've been doing it for 30 years when I started teaching computers. So now I'm just doing a whole bunch of different things. Uh, I hope you enjoy this class again. In today's society, you cannot have a business without computers, without technology. If you think of what happened last year with the pandemic, everyone scrambled to work from home, and that's what technology was. 15 years ago, that would not have been possible, but because of how our infrastructure has been built, we now can do this. I don't know if this is going to trend will continue, but I think we'll be back in the office doing a lot more uh, different things. It's going to be more flexible, which I'm looking forward to. So I'm really looking forward to working with you. And uh, again, if you have any questions, please email me. I check emails every morning uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, meeting you all. Thank you.